Some breaking news in the AI world today as OpenAI just announced a brand new monthly subscription called ChatGPT Pro, and they also announced that their latest O1 model is officially out of preview mode. So in this video, I'm gonna uncover all the important details that you need to know about these huge announcements. So be sure to stick around to the very end. There's gonna be hundreds of other videos covering this topic, but if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that below this video. But now let's dive back into these big announcements from OpenAI. So I first heard about this news on OpenAI's X or Twitter account. I'm recording this about 45 minutes right after it posted, and I would recommend you guys start here. So I'll leave a link to this entire thread in the video description below where OpenAI has a little video demo here of what this new O1 model can accomplish. They say right here, O1 is now out of preview in ChatGPT, what's changed? So according to OpenAI, it's a faster, more powerful reasoning model that's better at coding, math, and writing. It also now supports image uploads, allowing it to apply reasoning to visuals for more detailed and useful responses. That's pretty interesting stuff there. And if you scroll down on this thread, they have more details. And this is where I actually saw ChatGPT Pro. So 36 minutes ago, they announced ChatGPT Pro. And if you go ahead and click that, this will take you to the official page on their website. I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. But what do you all need to know about ChatGPT Pro? So the very first thing I want to know is how much will this new ChatGPT Pro subscription cost? And right here, OpenAI says today we're adding ChatGPT Pro, a $200 monthly plan that enables scaled access to the best of OpenAI's models and tools. So $200 a month for this new Pro plan, that's 10x what you get with ChatGPT Plus for $20 a month. Now, what I'm going to look at here shortly is are the features that you get with ChatGPT Jet GPT Pro, excuse me, 10x better than the features that you get on just the normal Chat GPT Plus plan. I've been a member of Chat GPT Plus since it was released a couple years ago at this point. And so I'm going to compare that here in a little bit. But if you scroll down, you guys can read all this stuff. They have the benchmark graphs for PhD level science, competition code, competition math. And then here is that new O1 model. But what I found interesting about this is there's an O1 Pro mode. So I would imagine if you're subscribed to Chat GPT, Pro, it looks like there's a model that you can access that you cannot get even being a Plus subscriber. I would imagine Plus subscribers only get the uh, the original O1 model, the official O1 model, and not this O1 Pro mode. Uh, O1 Preview obviously is right here, and O1 Pro mode is completely destroying. Again, take this with a grain of salt, but it's completely destroying the O1 Preview model, which was previously the best model we had access to in math, in code, uh, even some PhD level science questions here. So quickly comparing this to ChatGPT Plus, what is the big difference of this new Pro subscription that's 10x, that's worth 10x more than what you get for Plus at $20 a month? And so here is this page. I'm on the pricing page. I'll leave this in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Here are the features that you get with ChatGPT Pro. Obviously, everything in Plus, I would expect that. But here's the kicker. Unlimited access to GPT-40 and 01. Unlimited access to advanced voice mode. Now, with the regular chat GPT plus subscription, you still have limited access. You have a lot higher usage limits than what you have on the free plan. There's no doubt about that, but you still are limited in what you can do. I've frequently run out of my usage during the day when I find myself using chat GPT a lot for my business. And so with this pro plan, it looks like you get complete unlimited access to all of chat GPT's top models. I don't know if you get unlimited to this O1 pro mode, as it says right here, this uses more or compute for the best answers to the hardest questions. So really interesting stuff here. And I could see maybe justifying this. If literally you use chat GPT to power your business every single day, $200 a month honestly isn't that much in the scheme of things. If you're running your own business or you're a large enterprise. I look at it this way. Look at all these huge SaaS or software as a service companies or even CRMs that are charging way more than $200 a month for businesses to use their service. And in my opinion, this would provide more value if you know what you're doing for $200 per month than a lot of these CRMs or SaaS tools that currently exist that charge more than that. So yes, it is a steep price, 
for the average person, if you have a full-time job and you're just kind of tinkering around with ChatGPT on the side, I would stick with ChatGPT+. Plus. There's no need to spend $200 a month unless you're running your own company. You use ChatGPT literally every single day. Or again, you work for a bigger company and they have a lot more resources at their disposal. I do think that this is a fair price though for what you are getting. It is not cheap to power these advanced AI models in terms of energy consumption. And I think that's a point that a lot of people are missing. Now, if you scroll down further on this page, you can also compare other features across the different plans. It has the essentials, but what I found interesting here was under model quality. So it compares each one of OpenAI's language models into the different tiers. And what's interesting here, obviously GPT-40, you get 5X what you get on the free one, unlimited with the pro plan. Uh, and then OpenAI, the O1 Pro mode, that's the only one that's available on the pro plan like I talked about earlier. But the biggest takeaway from this is the context window. If you don't know what the context window is, this is basically the limited amount of data that a language model can process at one time to generate responses. So the higher number, the better, the bigger of a context window. So on the free plan, you only get 8K, which isn't much in the scheme of things anymore. 32K, now Google Gemini, I think, has a bigger context window than that, but that still is a respectable context window. 128K on the pro plan for the new context window. So that is a pretty drastic difference comparing ChatGPT Pro to ChatGPT Plus. Now let's see if I have access to even the regular O1 model. I am subscribed to ChatGPT Plus, as I've mentioned. I'm gonna refresh my screen just in case, and I still do not have access to the O1 model. I still have O1 Preview, I have O1 Mini, obviously GPT 4.0, but I don't have access to the new O1 model. Again, it's been a little over an hour since this update was announced. So I'm assuming I'll have access to it by tomorrow. But if you guys have access to O1, you're a member of ChatGPT+, let me know in the comment section below. I also wanna know if you guys are considering subscribing to ChatGPT Pro. Honestly, I might do it for a month just to test it out for a month, spend $200 and come back to what I found so I can let you guys know if it's worth it or not, depending on your use case. I think that's my plan for now. Try it for a month. If I find it useful and I'm getting value and ROI out of it, I'm going to keep plugging away at it, of course. Um, but yeah, I want to know if you guys are interested in potentially trying ChatGPT Pro at your business. Maybe you work for a big company and they're going to test it out. I think it's really interesting to see what this is going to do. Now, Sam Altman, obviously the CEO. I think he's still the CEO of OpenAI. I don't even know at this point, uh, but he had a few things to say about this announcement. He said a few, we launched a few things. Oh, one, the smartest model in the world, smarter, faster, and more features multimodality than O1 Preview. Live in ChatGPT now, coming to API soon. ChatGPT Pro, unlimited usage, and even smarter mode using O1. More benefits to come. And I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but OpenAI had an announcement here, 12 days, 12 live streams, a bunch of new things, big and small. 12 days of OpenAI starts tomorrow. So OpenAI has 12 straight days of announcement, and this is day one. They just announced O1, ChatGPT Pro, there's rumors of Sora floating around again that OpenAI is going to make a big announcement regarding to Sora, but we'll see. I'm excited to see what happens. But if you've made it this far into the video and I appreciate you being here, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you found value, but most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.